This is what I call Londa's way of setting gathering stitches. I worked it out when my daughter was really small and I was doing lots of ruffles and I thought there's got to be an easier way. So on this machine right here is 5 8 What I do since my eye is always used to having the edge run right along here, I go ahead and set the fabric there. And I would have the fabric wrong side up, so pretend this is the wrong side of the fabric. Then I make use of the fact that I have needle position on my sewing machine. So on this machine, what I'm going to do is move the needle a couple of notches to the right. So now, at regular stitch length, I'm going to go forward and backward a little bit. So now those stitches are secured. Then I'm going to go to the longer stitch length, but you don't want to go real long because real long stitches are going to make big bulky gathers and I generally like finer gathers. I have not adjusted my tension, I leave it normal. So see I'm keeping my edge right at the normal place but I've moved the needle to the right. So you go the whole distance of what you want to gather. Leave nice long threads. Now, set it back same position, but now you're going to move the needle. Here's center, so now I'm going to move it a couple of notches to the left. A couple more. So yes, and I go forwards and backwards, and then to the longer stitch length. So this row of stitches is beyond the 5 8 and yes it would show when you attached it, but I'm going to show you where it'll come out just quick and easy. I always like to set two rows of gathering stitches when I'm doing gathering. And I also like to use polyester thread. Don't use cotton thread for this because it has to have some strength. So now, remember this is the wrong side of the fabric. I'm pulling up my top threads and I'm pulling them up together. Now because I did that back stitch at the beginning, I can't just pull the threads out. That's why I do the back stitch at the beginning. So then if I were going to attach this to a piece of fabric, here's a nice Halloween color scheme. So let's say I were going to attach it to this piece of fabric. I pin this end and you really just pull up the threads so that the threads match what other length, whatever length of fabric you're putting it to. So let's say that I wanted it to go to here. Put a pin in there, pull those top threads until the threads themselves are equal to the length of the fabric to which you're going to attach it. Then take the threads and figure eight them around that pin. Now what you're going to do is take your fingernail and adjust the gathers so that they're nice and even. Then pin it the rest of the way. Gathering, I was told by one of my college professors, is actually one of the hardest things in sewing to do. And for many, many years, what's the first thing they had somebody make in sewing? Yep, an apron gathered to a band. Now I'm going to go back to regular stitch length, center needle position, and I'm going to sew it on at the 5 8 which would be right in the middle. Of these two rows of stitches. So those gathers should just stand in straight little marching type rows. Yes, I do sew over pins. Now, that row of gathering stitches furthest to the left is going to show, but I want to pull it out, so all I need to do is clip that thread there where it started and get hold of it here at the end.
and go ahead and pull it all the way out. And then that thread on the other side, as you well know, would just lift off. So that's how I get nice, even distributed gathers. And this happens to be just half of a bottom band that's a cut edge of knit, so it's not going to ravel. So that can be a nice finish around a cuff around the bottom. You'll see one of my jackets in the second book with that feature. So that's how Londa gathers.